Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I want to talk to you about the Yashica TL Electro X, a remarkable film camera of its day. This camera was released in 1967 and it sold until I believe 1974. So it had a, a decent run. This camera has a lot of history in the camera industry. Be sure to watch until the end of this video because I'm going to share some photos I've taken with the Yashica TL Electro X. This was the world's first 35 millimeter SLR to have an electronically controlled mechanical shutter, which is stepless, meaning it can shoot in between shutter speeds that is indicated on the dial, which is pretty cool because it allows you to really get precise exposures. This is also the world's first 35 millimeter SLR to have an integrated circuit, which Yashica also dubs as the computer brain. This is also the world's first 35 millimeter SLR to have exposure information in the viewfinder. They're just arrows, but they tell you if you're underexposed or overexposed, depending on which way the arrow points. You mainly want to try to get the arrows to go meet into the middle, which turns them off. I've been finding the exposure on this camera actually pretty accurate. This camera also features a copal square shutter, which is awesome because I really like copal square shutters. Another cool thing about the Yashica TL Electro X is the M42 screw mount. There is a number of lenses available. One of the unique things about this camera is the mirror lockup switch here, which is pretty handy to have. Um, I believe this was actually designed for lenses that had a larger rear element. Um, however, in my case, I actually use it a lot when I'm shooting at slower shutter speeds to dampen the mirror slap. And you can hear the difference. Here's what the camera sounds like in the normal setting. And here's what it sounds like with the mirror locked up. I have taken photos with this camera at 1 30th of a second and I was a little concerned about um, being blurry. So I just locked the mirror up, took the photo, and I was surprised when I got the film back that the Im images was actually sharp despite being a 50 millimeter lens at 1 30th of a second. That surprised me. Of course, the weight of the camera also is a factor. This thing is heavy. It's a beast and it is built like a tank. This is also a different type of metering system on this camera because film cameras back in the day either had an on off switch for the light meter or you had to press part way down on the shutter button to activate the light meter. However, on this camera, you needed to press this dial in the front of the camera to turn on the light meter. What's also really cool about this camera is the battery situation. It does not require a weird battery. It requires a simple 28L 6 volt battery or a 4 or an SR4LL battery, something like that. It's just one of these guys here, which is available at any supermarket. I think this is one of the coolest film cameras out there on the market and it can be had for relatively cheap. And if you can find one, definitely pick one up long as it works, uh, which is something I want to talk to you about next. The main concern I have with the Yashica TL Electro X is the electronics. They are old and to me, they are a ticking time bomb. You never know when you're gonna, gonna go use this camera and it just decides, I don't wanna work today. Uh, however, it can be repaired because the electronics are in the bottom of the camera and I did take a look at it. And they're actually quite clean I don't see any capacitors leaking or anything like that. Uh, but if they were, it's actually easy to replace. The viewfinder I find a little lacking. I mean, it is old, an old camera, but it is pretty dim. But for the most part, you can get the job done with this. It doesn't have a split prism focus screen, so it makes it harder to get really precise focusing. Overall, I had a lot of fun shooting with this camera. I shot a roll of Kodak Tri-X 400 and the pictures came out great. I think this camera has one of the best shutter sounds and it sounds like this. It's awesome. It sounds great. It's smooth, it's dampened. Anyways, that's all I have to say about the Yashica TL Electro X. I had a lot of fun shooting with it. And like I said, if you get one, make sure it's working and go have some fun with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, be sure to rate and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.